Right, so today we're going to be reviewing... So today we're going to be... So today we're going to be reviewing an Orchard Trail T680. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to nip down and get it all set up and everything. And then, Kev, I'll come give you a shout in a bit. And shall we get it all videoed up and uh, show people how to set up the auto trail? Yep, no problem. Okay, I'll see you in a bit then, Kev. Okay. All right, mate. All right. I'll see, see you in a bit. bit. All right, see you. Right, we'll go find Jason. See what he's doing. This is the van we're doing anyway. So we'll see what he's up to. I don't know where he is. We'll find out where he is. Nice van. We'll find out where he is. Here's a peak. Oh, take it a bit easy again. Leaving me to do everything. Well, I might as well do it myself. Right, so if you want a job done properly, do it yourself. So today, we're going to do the Auto Trail Tribute T680. It's a 2016. There's two berth with four belts. It's on a Fiat Ducato chassis and it's the 2.3 bhp. As you can see, very nice van with the awning, uh, alloy wheels, lovely looking van. We'll have a walk around it. Let's just have a look. It's a T680, as I said. And, uh, oh, it's what are you doing? I'm oh, sorry, have we woke you up? <laughs> I was fixing the pump on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pump was making a noise, so I was fixing it up. So, so the pump's above the bed, is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, look, I'll see with your feet. Orch Trail Tribute. Where are you up to, Kev? Uh, well, I've told him what it is. I've shown him what it is. And I've shown him you having a lie down up bed. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll set this fan up and show you how, how it all works. Right, all right. So let's get around this um, water trail and let's get the van set up. So first of all, if you notice, we have a good size awning, Dometic awning. We put it into that. Wind it out. And then if you can just come inside, I can just show you the legs on it. pulls out, that turns around and then we do have, where's our little cat? And you just see, lift that up and that secures it in place and then we'll move around to the other side. Same again and that secures it in place. It will wind all the way out because it will go to the full extension there. So let's make our way around the front. Uh, around the front, it is. I don't know if Kev said earlier. It's a 130 multi jet on the Fiat Ducato. And I'll just quickly show you inside the cab. So we do have our electric uh, mirrors and also electric uh, windows. Um, Obviously, Fiat steering wheel, it is a six-speed with air conditioning. Air conditioning? Air con? Air con. <laughs> sounds, 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 like it. It sounds like shampoo, that doesn't it? So it has got the air con and does have the media pack as well. Um, so, nice looking cab. Um, got, uh, cruise control. Yes, and we do also have cruise control, Kev. And then another nice feature, let me just turn the ignition on here. And then if you can see up here, we do have a little reversing camera built into the into the mirror. So we have got the mirror here, and then we've also got the reversing camera. If I switch that off, we do have a full mirror. Let me switch that on again. That's quite a nice little device, actually. I, I really do like that on the mirror. 
Yeah. So I'll just turn that off and we'll carry on around the van. So 230 hookup and then we have a flue for the Truma heater. So we've got hot water and also blown air. We have our cassette toilet. And a little bit of a storage area there as well that where we can put our cleaning fluids. And then just above that then, we do have a water filler. Now this does have a gas low system on it. So we can fill a gas up here. And then I'll show you that at the back. So there you go, if we have a look, two good sized gas bottles. That's gonna last a while, Kevin did. Seems last years. <laughs> so that is gonna last a while. Isn't it just? Now, just something I want to show you, and I'm gonna pick Kev's brains here. Now I'm just gonna show you this window. And we have, is that a little security vice? Um, a, to stop people breaking in, Kevin, or what do you think it is? I'd say it was like a sensor for the uh, for the alarm system, or... I'll give you a clue, it says Truma on the top. Truma? So it's warning you... You know, Kev, what's down there? Ah, so it's, you can't have, if your window's open, you can't have your heating on because it'll... That's right, what this is, this is a little sensor, uh, sensor, so as you can see, it's open and closing it. Now, if we've got our heating or our hot water on, on the gas, and we have the window open, it will cut out the heating and hot water system on the gas, because as you can see here, we have a flue. Directly below the window. Directly, like Kevin says, below the window. Now, you can have this open if you've got it on the electric, um, using the heating and hot water, but on the gas, you can't use, um, it will automatically just kick out. So what will happen is if you've got your heating on or your gas on on, uh, on the gas and you open the window, it will fault out on the control panel. Obviously, once you shut it again, it'll work again. So there's a little tip for you there. Well, um, out because we've sighted it below a window, which you wouldn't normally sight the flu. As Kev it's says, it, it is well thought out because like I say, it's, it's sighted below. So hats off, to, hats off to Orchard Trail there. Um, we've done all this side now, so we'll go around the other side. We've put a gas on, um, we've put a hook up in, and then also we want to put the water in. So what we'll do is we'll go inside the van. So before I go inside, just show you, the wastewater drain off is here. Now that's open. Oh, that's open. And that's closed. So that's to drain out everything that goes down a plug hole, so that's your waste. And then we'll go into the van. Now this has got a step on. It's not an electric step. And we do have a little button there that we can open up and then we can go into the van. So by the door, we do have our control panel. So I'll just switch that on there. And then we've got our lights. There's our temperature inside. That's our fresh water. Leisure battery select, it's telling us at 12.9. Vehicle select, so we'll put that back onto leisure. That's our outside awning. Now, why I'm here by the taps, we might as well prime up. So, we'll prime up. I don't know if you can hear the pump going. We're putting fresh water now into the hot water system. And, we have got a lot of outside noise, but yeah, the pump's just gone off. And if we are priming up for the first time, if you can just see down here, there's our heater system. And can you just see the blue button here? Now, that if you turn that button there, that dumps the water out of the water heater, and then you must press that button in there as well. So then when we turn that, that I'll show you actually, that pops it out, so I'll close it, and then I'll press the button in again. And then what we also have got here, there's, there's your leisure battery as well. One of my biggest bugbears when I'm checking vans off, especially camper vans, is going to and fro the cab and everything, it's banging me head. And I think somebody else has had the same problem as well. So, I haven't banged my head on this van yet, but there's still time. So we primed up, um, I'll just get the, um, Get the gas coming through. 
There we go, we've got the gas there. There's a first ob. There's our second. And then considering that while we're still at the front of the van, we might as well have a look at the heating and our water system. So here's our Truma. I've shown you loads of times before on these. That is the heating for in the van. So we can adjust it to whatever volume we want, volume, whatever what temperature, temperature we want. That's our water, so we can either have it on eco, hot, and also boost. So don't forget, if you've got it on boost and you've got the heating on, um, it will turn off the heating because it's going to boost the hot water. Mainly if you're having a shower, use the boost. Yep. And then there, we've got a choice of either electric, two kilowatts, one kilowatt, a mixture of gas and electric, and then also gas. And I'll come out of that, and there's your fan. So we can either have it vented or off, or we can have a boost if we've got the heating on. Um, so quite easy controls to use. So what we've also got on this van as well, we do have a little microwave at the bottom, and then we do have our fridge. And what we can do with the fridge, just show you up here, we've got our electric, um, leisure battery, and then also our gas. So if we want it on the gas, then we just go to here, we hold that in. There we go, that's lit. We can tell it's lit because can you see the little dial there? See the little red needle that's going up? So that's telling us it's lit. I'll take my finger off. And there we go, we've got the fridge on the gas. So we, we've put a water on, primed up, we've put our hot water on, we've put our heating on. Um, so pretty much everything we've done there, we have on this van fitted a solar panel. So you can see in there, there's our controller. Now that is actually going to vehicle and also to leisure battery. And the thing with this controller is it's a Bluetooth, so you can download the app and it'll show you um, what everything's drawing in. It just gives you loads of information. Well, moving on to the bathroom. What I really like about this bathroom as well, can you see here how they've integrated um, the taps and everything um, built into the wall? And then we've got a um, wash basin that you can move along. And then we do have our toilet as well. Uh, and it is a good size. Very good size for a camper. Though. Yeah, I'm not going to go in and show you because I've just cleaned all the shower out. What are you saying about the fridge? So, ah, fridge, yeah. As well, the fridge, there is a fan on the fridge. If you just see that button there, and that's a fan. That's more for when you're in hot countries and you're traveling around, basically. Um, we'll move away to the back. And again, we've got good storage here. And I do like these cupboards, really nice cupboards. Good size as well. No, really nice cupboards. And then um, we've got the two single beds. The LED lighting isn't flashing, it just does that on the camera, by the way. <laughs> it's not a slight in the disco. <laughs> <laughs> and then what we've also got here, we've got our fly screens and blinds. And then two good size single beds as well. And then let's have a look underneath. So, we have our fresh water tank. And then let's have a look underneath here. And if you can see down there, that's our pump and that's our fresh water drain off. So if we turn that um, to 12 o'clock, that'll drain the water out and then turn it back to three o'clock, that closes up. So you're pretty much winterized because with having your fresh water inside, obviously if you leave your, leave your wastewater drain open, up yeah, that, that, that's right actually, uh, Kev. Um, and then we've got the various different... I'll tell you what's good, let me show you. We have a little dimmer, so if you look at the top there. Dim them down. Even though they are flashing, they're not really flashing. It's just... You don't want cameras. <laughs> and then another thing we've done, we've it has come with a tally, but what we've done, it did have an outside aerial, but we've actually put an aerial in as well, if you can see there. And then just at the back here, we do have our booster as well. So that's something we have fitted for the customer. And then they've got a tally here. And then what we also have done is sent the aerial around to the front as well. So you can uh, decide wherever, you can have two tallies up basically, and decide what you want to watch. Um, so yeah, so that's the back end. Like I said, I do like these cupboards. Great colours. I like the colours, to be honest. And you can use the back end as a lounge. You know? Yeah, because a lot, a lot of, if you imagine, what I think the, this 
wasn't originally on the van i think this is what whoever's had this before has had because what they've done then instead of sitting in the window you can sit back like that so these aren't on the vans this has been put on extra basically yeah and i think also as well what they have done as well is put a little um cupboard in there little sorry little shelf there yeah and also this has been made as well let me just lift that up for you so this has been made obviously yeah, like a little, uh, little side table to put your, put your drinks so yeah. you can have a brew in them yeah that's what that's what's been done and we do have storage as well let's have another look back underneath here um we have got um, Again, it's just just more story basically. There is. Right, so moving to the front, uh, we do have the two belted seats. We have got the table here, which will extend out to a good size. And what the customer asked us to do as well, which I think was a really good idea, let me just go outside and show you. Just follow me. They asked us to put another table rail on here so that they can take the table off and then put it outside as well, which I think is a really good idea. But they wanted just to use the same table so they're not using another table for extra storage space. Exactly. Um, but I thought it was a really good idea. But the original rail um, we couldn't get, so we ordered two more rails and fitted them on, swapped them over. But yeah, that's a good idea. So let's carry on. We do have, look, see, I've just done it. <laughs> I've just done it. Jason's head banging. Both seats do swivel. As you can see round, and I could probably now get you this table out now properly. Move this forward. I'll swivel that one around. And there we go, we've got a good size. I like, I like how the table goes here. Yeah. To get the to get the um, the passenger seat as well. You could dine in for four, really. If you're out for the day, four of you can quite comfortably sit down. It's a good space. Um, it, it really is a good space. The more I get into the van, I'm more, the more I like the van um, because I, I love the single beds at the back. Ample ample area here. Uh, it was a dinette area. You've got plenty for what you need for the cooking side with your sink, your hobs, and then you've got your um, your microwave as well and then another good thing which is normally my bug bearing camper vans and motorhomes as well as the fridge is it's a good height as well so you're not then having to keep bending down um so again it's a good height the fridge is um the only thing is that is lower down is the, is the microwave um, but i don't think the microwave was original to be honest i think that's been put in so I think it's an ideal van for someone who's def who's downsizing. You've got the beauties of a of a motor home, you know, and plenty of room. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this is a great van as well. Where if you wanted a small van, you could go away for weeks and weeks. Yeah. Um, you've got you've got enough storage. It's got a three or four day van, you could you can actually go. It's a two. Yeah. It's a touring one. You can, you can go everywhere, so it's a really really nice van. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a quick tour of the Auto Trail. Um, if you haven't um, subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. And if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like, and we'll see you for the next video. That's it, isn't it? <laughs>